Welcome, everyone, to the first episode of uh, this podcast. Um, my name is Davey. I'm James. And um, this is all just strictly for the bit. Strictly for the bit. Ba da 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 da. Strictly for the bit. Are we gonna? You know what? Are we gonna get sued for that? I don't we're know. Not, we're not, it's, it's, it's we're parody. Making, I think yeah, it's parody, right? It's parody. We're not Fair making use any laws. money off of it. McDonald's. I'm sorry. I'll... Could you imagine? Could you imagine? <laughs> I love your we Travis got... Scott meal. <laughs> But once, hey, once Travis Scott meals are gone, that's it. That relationship's done. You know, I think McDonald's <laughs> knows how much I love them because of how fat I am. So I think it's been they a just, testament of time. You just look at you, like some some general manager of some McDonald's walks out and they're just like, that guy loves us. That's him. Do you see him? See how fat that's he is? Him. That guy loves us. That's him. I have a very I have a very love hate relationship with McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah, I really do because I can't get enough of it. Oh, okay. I and but every time every time I'm sitting in the drive thru, I feel nothing but a large amount of regret and shame. Oh yeah. yeah. Every fucking time. <laughs> I feel like it's like that way with most fast food, but with McDonald's it's like, look who's come like look who's come like crawling like, back. Yeah. You thought you could get rid of us. You thought you could stop coming. Uh uh-uh. uh. It's the burger. The the drink, the fries for six dollars, ain't it? You fat fuck. That's just what it is. I, it's a, it's a lot of shame, and then you have to give them your card. And I feel like even though the workers work at McDonald's, and that's kind of like a stigma against that, like oh, fast food is bad, but it's a job. You know what I mean? I feel job. like I feel like still when you give them your, your card, it's like they're looking down. You're like Jesus, dude, really? Like when they yeah. say your whole order to you. Yes, I feel inferior to every McDonald's employee. I really do. Every time I'm driving through their drive through, and they just kind of like. They like give me that like here's a total. I'm like, you fucking know. Like, you fucking know what's wrong with me. Just spit in my face. You know what I mean? Just like just like just tell me to fuck off, you fat fuck already. Just do it because I need it. Like, break up with me. <laughs> yeah, just break up with me. Just break up with me already. Stop stringing me along in this abusive relationship, okay? It's so toxic. I've gained so much <laughs> weight. I feel so much shame. I'm scared to tell my friends about you the freshman 15 but it's been for 15 years (laughs) 15 years oh my god and you know when it all started you know where all of my like i used to never ever eat mcdonald's Mm -hmm. and then when i got out of high school and i was kind of sitting between high school and college right especially that first summer i was this broke ass kid right Mm -hmm. hanging out with their friends and i'm like we like we need to go somewhere to eat and mcdonald's is just so fucking cheap so i'd go to mcdonald's every time it's the same thing with ramen and all that, all that sodium, all the best. Stuff. See, that's what it's like. Just being a, a person in college, like even today, like I'm still in school, and like it's really expensive. And you know, thank God I have a full time job, so where school is an option for me. You know what I mean? Right. So like I can, I have this full time job, and then I can also work on my degrees, which is great. But I know a lot of people they can only do the school, or mm-hmm. they can only do the job, mm-hmm. and they don't have the chance. And being, a, and I was in that that situation like where I was living off of my financial aid. I don't know about you. You ever get financial aid? No, I never really did. I never really did school. I never really did school uh, only because I needed to make money. Yeah. See, so that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So me, I'm very blessed. I have, I have the, the option. Oh, just brag about it, huh? Just sit right here. Look me in the eyes and brag about it then. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me off for being the poor kid. Uh, um, well, I was, the I want you kid. to, I want you to look me in the fucking eyes and call, call me a poor fuck. That's McDonald's job. That's you not do me. that to me right now. Okay. You do that to me, right? You look me right in the fucking eyes and you tell me how fucking poor and shitty of a life I'll live forever because I'm poor. See, that's Ronald McDonald's. I just don't know why you won't call me poor. I don't think you're poor. I think you're very wealthy. You, you like to act like you have, you know, some problems in life. Like, yeah, I'm poor, but really, you're doing pretty great. No. Anyway. What are you talking about? I end every paycheck with negative $2 in my bank account. Yeah, so do I. That's, and let's talk about that. Chase Bank. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Fuck Chase. Chase Bank. No, really, but let's talk about how Chase Bank, if you're negative over $5, they charge you $34. Yep. So then you're negative, what, $39? Well, thirty forty dollars. I can't math. Clearly, <laughs> when it's that I, math when dyslexia. <laughs> it's math. It's the dyslexia. It's the anger. When I'm very angry, I just can't think properly. Let me tell you something. I've been angry at Chase 
for eight years now <laughs> since I've been a member at Chase. Stop going to Chase. <laughs> I'm too lazy to get a new bank account and then swap over all my information. Who's too lazy? This? That's Ronald McDonald's fault. Just like why we're fat. <laughs> you just blame it all. You just blame it all on McDonald's, huh? On the gingers, yes. You think it's just that easy? Just blame it on on all the McDonald's. Oh well, me, yeah. So what's going on, David? How you doing? You okay? Enough about McDonald's. Enough about about being poor and you know can chase I, bank. you know what, hold on one one thing before we go away from chase bank yeah i want you to know that my bank account is still a college mine bank too. account mine too which is insane to me because i went to school for maybe a year or two on and off and chase has never come back to me and being like you're not still are on they school, supposed are? to charge you because they're supposed to be i think of some kind of fee I had a savings account. They would charge me, I think, like twelve dollars. Yeah, there's like some kind of yearly. Fee. There's some fee. It was a monthly fee for me, for a savings account. It was a monthly fee. Twelve dollars. It was something like that. That's yeah. Insane. I I had a a college account, and yeah, it's still college. Chase, if you're listening to this, as someone who works at Chase is like, oh, I'm gonna get these fuckers. Oh yeah, you, you hate Chase that much. I'm gonna make sure you fucking pay that twelve dollar fee a month. Uh, if anyone, hey. I want I want everyone right now listening to the like two people that'll listen to this first the episode. One person, my sister. Your sister. My yeah. sister. And probably my brother in law. Me. I and you. So three people. We have three, three people. people. Yeah. Um if y'all work for Chase, uh this is don't stop listening. Chase your dreams instead. Chase don't your work dreams. for Chase. Fuck Chase. And fuck fuck the guy in which is school named Chase. Fuck him. Did you go with the guy named Chase? I did. Um, was he cool or was he really like? He was good? cool. Okay. He was actually really cool. Well, come on. You got to say sorry then. Because okay. what if he hears this? I'd be surprised. Hey, Chase, Chase, if you're out there and you're listening to this, I'm sorry. I hope you're chasing your dreams too, Chase. I hope you're chasing your dreams. I hope you're chasing your dreams, you know? What? <laughs> so fucking stupid. How dare you? How dare you? Okay. Okay. Talk, talk louder in your mic, you bitch. Okay, here we go. I don't like my voice. Um, okay. so how are you? How are you doing? I'm gonna say it. How am how I you doing? Yeah, how, how am I doing? doing, David? How am I how doing? Are you doing? Dude, How's the new job, good. David? David and I used to work together. This is how we met, and uh, it was just first. I, I didn't think you liked me. I don't think you did like me at first. I still don't. Oh, dude. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm used to being in toxic relationships. Good. Well, so at least with this one, you just you keep on stringing me on. Um, I'll string you on forever. Thank God. But at least I'm honest about it. You know? Yeah. At least you're honest about it. You won't send a fucking text. No. But I'll, hey. I'll send you. I'll send. No, I mean, I will send some texts. Yes. And they'll be very abusive and toxic. But at least I'm honest about it. You're so toxic. I'll text you saying, "Hey, does this sound good?" You won't text me back. <laughs> and then I'll have to double text you like, "Hey." Are we still going? You're like, oh, yeah, sorry. I'm just really busy. I got distracted. Like, that is an honest thing. I got distracted looking at equipment. This is what you literally saw my work that I've done. Look at, look at all this, look at all this work that I've done. That's true. Okay. Enough about this. We went, we went off the rails a little bit, a little emotional. How are you doing? How is the new job? Oh, dude, it's good. I, it's good. I, it feels good to finally not be in front of people 24 seven. At least, like, customers, you know? Everyone I deal with is just at work, and everyone there is super chill and cool. Um, and, like, I'm getting a lot of OT, too, which has been nice. Because I feel like every time that I'm sitting there and I'm doing OT, it's because I've got shit to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, like, I'm just trying to get, like, something done before the end of the day. It's, just, it's good to feel busy. So, like, what do you do? Is it just, like, punching digits? That's it? I mean, it's just a lot of data entry. We have a specific system that we work in. Um, I just so you all know, I'm being very generally vague on purpose. Well, as as we should be. Yeah, as we should be. Um, yeah. It, I mean, it's a lot of just like taking orders and inputting them into the system mm-hmm. so that the work can get started. And a lot of like just like checking up on that shit and keeping up with orders and clients. You know, guys. He works at Chase Bank. I work. Fuck. I'm Fuck. just gonna say it. You you told the world, and now J.P. Morgan's gonna have my head. J.P. Morgan doesn't that sound like just like 
a white guy who rides a white stallion, J.P. Morgan. Hello, everybody. Oh, that's My nice. name's J.P. Morgan. I don't, I don't expect that voice from him. I expect I like, like a, uh, almost like a little southern twang. I like, like, like a little bit of a... Morgan. Howdy, y'all. This is me, J.P. Morgan, and I'm here to tell you, get back to work. Howdy, bitches. Howdy, bitches. I'm J.P. fucking Morgan. Fucking J.P. Morgan. You thought you thought Wells Fargo was shit? I bought it, bitch. <laughs> so absurd. But I'm glad I'm glad you're liking the new job. I miss you at work. I know. God, I miss you so much. I know. I've been calling out almost like at least once or twice a week. I'm calling out because I just cannot handle it. I, it's also it's also it's also the depression. It's not just you, but you were you were like a. Uh, I was the big security. Blanket. I was the big yeah. I was the I was your. Um, you were the big brain. I was your thunder vest. Yeah, honestly, and now I'm just shitting and pissing everywhere. <laughs> it's true. Everywhere. You did sit on my floor five minutes I did, ago. Well, yeah, I blamed it on his dog, but it was me. But I yeah, watched you do it. I'm glad. Why I didn't believe the dog thing. I don't know what you're talking about. I watched. We were five minutes ago. We, we were got you on camera this. in 4K. I have you on mic. I have you on mic. That's what I have. Oh, you have me on mic. That's the new ASMR. Oh God, I don't want. Let's not go down there. I don't want to go. You want to do ASMR? Good. We have two mics. We can do it. No, not ASMR. Uh, you don't want to do ASMR? No, I don't. I hate. Do you like ASMR? You know what I do. Mm. I do actually like ASMR a little bit because. And here's the thing: is I just, just, it's something comforting about people making weird noises. Just repeatedly, constantly. It's like the same reason why I love having my fan on in uh, the middle of the night while I sleep. Are you supposed to cringe with ASMR? Like, is that the whole thing? Because, like, every time I hear it, I feel like it's like if a cat is scratching my back. Like, I'm in pain. Like, I it's not supposed to hurt. It's supposed to, you're supposed to feel the tingles run up your body. Yeah, kind of like that. Like, yeah. I, I hate it. I hate it. The mm-hmm. only one, I've listened to one. Yeah. And. Like it actually like calmed me down. It was dogs and cats eating out of their bowls, which is the weirdest thing. That's fucking weird, dude. It's weird, right? That's weird. But there's just something about like, cause I love dogs, I love cats, I love animals, period. But just something. It was like kind of like wholesome and precious, just like puppies eating, just like like hearing those little munches. These puppies just going to town. But on if food. it's like you know, if it's a person doing like a mukbang, where like they're just eating nothing but you know spicy shrimp and just ramen it's just it's just, disgusting we just lost like 10 people right there when i just did that we don't have 10 people are listening i don't know what you're talking about this is just you and i we're just gonna be listening to this on the way to our to our nine to five yeah that's it but um <laughs> what? it's just us it's just, us. just for us to listen to constantly it's strictly for us strictly for the bit strictly for I, us. I <laughs> we're only doing this as a bit um no but what was it you know what you know what asmr i love you know what asmr i just fucking adore the role play shit because it's just hilarious to, it's just hilarious this idea of of these girls mainly girls there's some guys that do it too but mainly women who sit in their rooms and they're just like they're just like sitting in front of a camera and they're just like so now i'm gonna cut your hair it's snip a, snip I hate it. snip and they just for thirty minutes pretend like they're cutting someone's hair. That's the worst. Um, what do you mean? It's, th- it's hilarious. No, it's just something about the whispering, the talking whispering, really just sets me off. I have I have this thing where like if I get like a sensory overload, I just cannot function. I can't function. So like if it's something like that, like someone's just whispering in my ears, or you know if there's too much noise, mm. like I just get overheated, and I just like I have to walk away. And that's something like I hear it just once. Yeah. I'm cringing all the way home. I just can't do it. So you can't listen to that one song that goes like, take up the top of the girl whisper in my ear. Oh. Oh, that one? The Yin Yang Twins, right? Is that the Yin Yang Twins? Are you talking about, it's like the rap song, right? Come on, little girl, come and whisper in my ear. That's what they say. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, wait till you see my dick. Oh. Yeah, that's Yin Yang Twins. Maybe, I don't know. Is it Ying Yang? I think it's Ying Yang Twins. Young yeah, Ying. that was Young Yang. Young Young Ying. Young Ying. Young Ying Twins. I didn't know this was Tenet. We're going backwards. Which God, let, fucking Tenet, fucking Tenet. Robert Pattinson. He 
You look yeah. at me, Robert I'm, Pattinson. I'm looking at you. God, what a dream boat. That guy. <laughs> I've liked him since Twilight. I think we talked about this. The first Twilight movie, I actually enjoy. I, I think it's you. actually a decent, huh? I said I hate you. You hate me. Oh, so we're liking that. the first Twilight movie. We knew that, but it's so good. That movie, God, it's Twilight, the first one you think is a good movie. It's a good movie, and you know why it's I... a good movie? I think it's it's a very cheesy, it's a very self aware film. It's literally a girl who falls in love with a fucking vampire, okay? And it's aware of it. It's aware of itself. But then First you, go to, all, you go to New Moon. I'm going to finish. Okay. You go to New Moon, and then you go to these other movies, and it's just way too serious. It's way too over the top. And the director of that movie, I forgot her name. God bless her. But she also directed uh, Lords of Dogtown. I'll have to look it up. But she's a fantastic director. I think that movie is beautiful. I think it's beautifully shot. Beautifully shot. Uh, like, you really get the sense of just... Like, it's a very cheesy, tongue-to-cheek film. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. You think you think they wrote Twilight to make fun of Twilight? You know what Twilight was written as, right? Well, porn? It's a fanfic of, I think, Fifty Shades of Grey. Or is Fifty Shades of Grey a fanfic of... Fifty Shades of Grey was... I don't... See, we're, we're, we shouldn't be talking about this. We're going into stuff we don't know about. It's the same shit. The written... One is written as a fanfic of the other, and it that for me it's like that already is like a red flag, of like, what uh, what is all this shit? Okay. Second of all, a girl falling in love with a vampire is a story as old as time. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, Beauty is be- Beauty and the Vampire. There we go. I was gonna say we might get sued on this one. Yeah, don't worry. I changed down. it. I changed it. Um, sixteen minutes in, and we're gonna get shut down just because you wanted to. Flash off your. Don't vocals. call the time. What if I cut all of this? That's true. Well, what if I just say fuck you're it? The, you're what if I fuck too. it and this podcast is five minutes long? And now you're like, and I only cut that Twilight bit. And you're like, we're 16 minutes into this. And the motherfuckers on the other end are like, that's actually not a bad idea. Strictly for the short bits. Strictly for just five minute bits. Oh, hey, is hey, that everybody. the whole name? Hey everybody, welcome welcome to the Strictly to the Bit. We're five minutes long. We only release once every month. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, but anyway. Anyway. Robert Pattinson, fantastic. You haven't seen Good Time yet. You haven't seen The Lighthouse. I have friends who I've been talking to about these films. They don't see it. They don't watch them. Look, I I I am not arguing that Robert Pattinson isn't a great actor. I think he is. I think Using Twilight as an example is bad. Bad. I, I wasn't saying like it's a bad movie. It's a bad movie it's and it's a, badly written. And I don't know like what else to tell you about it. No, oh, yeah, Bob, but my whole reason of like bring up Twilight when I brought him up was a lot of people. It's like Tom Holland. They're going to be looking at him saying Spider Man for a long time, probably his whole life. I mean, look at Tobey Maguire. Look at Mark Andrew, Hamill. Well, Mark Hamill. You tell me he's not. Coasting off those Luke Skywalker checks, you think he doesn't like getting called Luke Skywalker? Star. I mean, he now does. now we're going into politics. But Star he, Wars. He's living. He's living. He's living his reality, which is just what what they should be doing. Live your reality. Mm-hmm. But I mean, Mark Hamill also like did his thing. Like he kept working, he kept making his money. But then he realized like people are just gonna know me as Luke Skywalker. So here I am. He embraced it. Is that he what you're saying? It. He you. embraced it. He embraced reality. But Tom, okay, first of all, I don't think Tom, I think Tom Holland is going to get out of it pretty easy. Motherfucker's doing so much work outside of uh, Spider-Man. But you think he's really going to be known for Uncharted as young Nathan Drake? If it's good. Mark Wahlberg's in it. It's not going to be good. Fuck you. Fuck Mark Wahlberg. Fuck you. Mark Wahlberg is a, a national treasure. No, he's not. Have you seen the other guys? Have you heard about what he did? No. Oh, now do you want to get into it, David? You should Google it right now. What did Mark Wahlberg do to a Vietnamese man? Fuck, I don't want to know. Just Google it. Don't break my reality here. No. Well, okay, so don't break my. Reality. A lot of people don't know this, or maybe people just, do know this. Mark I'm Wahlberg has a one. past. Okay, everyone has a past. I understand everyone does things where they're full of regret. But this is one thing that, you know, really changed my opinion on him. I'm not canceling Mark Wahlberg. I'm not going to say cancel Mark Wahlberg. We're not going to, you know, we're not going to get into that whole cancel culture. But this is one thing, like, I've known about 
there you go. This is one thing I've known about for a while where I'm just like, ah, you know, eh, I'm not into it. All right, independent. What do you have for me? I don't think this. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, well, uh, that wasn't good, but it was also a child, so I get it. Okay. Not that I did that as a child, but yeah, thank you. It was also 1986. Different time, a different time to that's be alive. That's an excuse. Uh no, it's not an excuse. Because that's still bad. Yeah, that's probably he called one man, Tan Lam, a Vietnam fucking shit, and knocked him unconscious with a five foot wooden stick while punching another man, Army veteran Johnny Trin, in the eye later in the same day. Officers reported that Wahlberg used racist slur, racial, racist uh, slurs to describe both men. So I mean, really, like that's not cool, man. And w- how old was he when he did that? I don't know. Um, like I'm not seventeen. Seventeen years old. I'm not gonna say like I'm not gonna do the whole Papa John's thing where it's like it was different times back then. Like no, no. Okay, it, 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 you're right. It wasn't different times back then. It's fucked up. Very fucked up. It's fucked up. But people change. I yes, people do change. I think I think ideas and people can change. Has Mark Wahlberg changed? That's the question. Also, I I I only care about his acting ability. Oh, so you want to separate the artist from the art? To a degree, I think it's required. Okay. Because we, you know, we put all these celebrities on pedestals, you know? We take them and we put them on these pedestals and we say, you're perfect. But they're not. Like Adam Driver. Well, no, Adam Driver, I'm sure, has clogged a fucking toilet or two, all right? That's okay if he's clogged a toilet. No. I will be there to give him a plunger. Don't, don't worship Adam Driver. Yeah. Don't do it. No, I'm always going to be there like, hey. Hey, hey, Adam. Hey, hey Adam, you need something? Hey, Adam. My name's hey Adam. I'm, I'm, my name's James, and I just wanted to I just wanted to say I want to fuck you. But also, anything you need, I'm here for you. Okay. I thought we knew that. You know how many letters I've written to him? How many letters? I lost count, honestly. But I know the last one I told him I was like, "Hey, this is the last letter I'm going to send you." Uh, is it? Please them? get back to me. No, I didn't think so. No, I have I one. So. I have a bunch of drafts saved in my laptop. But uh, Adam Driver, if you're listening, if you're out there, Adam Driver, if for some reason you, know okay, well, you opened up, you opened up Spotify, and you and you said, "I'm going to listen to a podcast," and for some reason you scrolled all the way down to the bottom, uh, strictly for the bit, and it's like, and you look and you look at it, and you're like, strictly for the bit, strictly for the bit, strictly for the bit. It's a good name. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to click on it, and you click on it, and you find the two of us, and you say, "Who the fuck are these two? I just want you to know. Um, hi, how are you today? I I love Adam Driver so much. Everybody knows this. Uh, ben Solo deserved better. Okay, you want to talk about Ben Solo deserving better? Because yeah, fuck, he did. Fucking, I, I will hold it. this opinion forever. Let's talk about. It. Let's get off the 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 subject of Ray Wahlberg and cancel culture. Sh- Ray should have died. I think they both Ray could have lived. Should have died. I think Ray should have died. Take my shoes off. I think. I think. Uh, I think they both could have lived. But one thing for sure that should have happened is Ben Solo should have survived that entire Exegol debacle because he is truly the last blood of the Skywalker. Like, oh, by the way, spoiler alerts. Movie doesn't fucking matter. You and I are huge Star Wars fans. We love it. That's the one thing we bond. I think that's the first thing we the first thing we bonded over was Star- Adam Driver. Was Star Wars? It's true. It was Adam Driver. Like I love Adam Driver. And I, was, I shook your hand. and said I love Adam Driver too. I do love him as an actor. It's He's true. Fan fucking tastic, and the things he does for the veterans, amazing. He has- have you have you seen, uh, what Logan Lucky? You're asking me if I've seen Logan Lucky. I don't I know. know. You tell me. I know you have. It's so good. You tell me. Isn't he just amazing in that He's movie? He's amazing in everything. That, he just that man. That Marriage Story is heartbreaking. Have you seen it? No, I've purposely not watched it for a while because I know it's going to make me sad and I don't want to feel sad. All right. So I think what we should do every podcast. Okay. I think we should have the title 
we should speak to Tyler. Okay, like top of our heads, like okay, this is the name of today's podcast. Okay, the one with Adam Driver. We've barely been talking about Adam Driver, though. I don't care, but it's a it's a it's a major. Problem. I feel like if you had a, if you had the, your way, every everyone would be every one of them would be titled the one with Adam Driver. No. Also, are, also, are we gonna pull like a Friends thing where it's like? I think I think the one with blah blah blah. See, don't think about it as Friends. I thought about it as more Third Rock from the Sun. Do you know about all the episodes of Third Rock from the Sun? No. What are they titled? Look, Google real quick. Pull it, pull it up. God, you're making me Google so much. But I just, it's so funny. You're going to love this. I don't know why you want me to Google things. So, so Google much. Third Rock from the Sun episode list. And it should be on Wikipedia. So also, well, let's go back to Adam Driver real quick. Okay. Marriage Story is so good. It's so heartbreaking. Um, He's fantastic. Scarlett Johansson is great in it, too. Um, I know of people that couldn't stand the movie because they don't like Scarlett Johansson, but really, like... You're not there for Scarlett Johansson. You're there for the story and for Adam Driver. Let's be honest. Now go ahead and read off some of the titles for me. Uh, the thing that wouldn't die. Mm-hmm. Okay. My mother, my dick. Yes. Glenn Gary Glenn Dick. Yes. <laughs> dick soup for the soul. <laughs> yes. A dick replacement. Yes. There's no business like dick business. Read this one. Le liaison Dick Gregunis. I says some kind of French words I don't understand. Uh in Dick's direction. So, so that's what I that's what I meant. Cause you know just Dick'll take Manhattan part one. Nice. See, part two is honestly my favorite. Dick Dick'll two take Dick'll take Manhattan part two, yeah. Why Dickie can't teach. Okay. Red, white, and dick. Why? Did you like Third Rock from the Sun? I never really watched it. Oh, David. David. Dick's big, he- big headache. Nice. I can relate. Why? Why would? Why did they do this? Why to Dick? That's a fantastic. See Dick run. See Dick run. What's episode one? Brains and eggs. Episode two. Post nasal dick. There you go. Yeah. So the reason why episode one was just brains and eggs is because that was the pilot. They didn't really know. Right, I'm assuming, right. and then once they got the show, like you know what, we don't know how long the show's gonna last. Let's just have fun with it. Post nasal dick, and then episode three, Dick's first birthday. Episode four, Dick is from Mars. Sally is from Venus. Is is Dick a name of one of the characters? Yeah, Dick is John Lithgow. Okay, he's fan- that makes sense. He, another fantastic actor. I love oh, absolutely. Him. Um, so it's just yeah. See right there, John Lithgow, Dick Solomon. <laughs> Dick show, Solomon. That show is fantastic. Um, Harry Solomon. If you guys haven't seen Third Rock from the Sun, it I would say it was really popular in the 90s. Yeah, but how is it compared and, to ALF? Yeah, I don't... ALF just popped up and he clicked ALF. I don't know anything about ALF. Do you? Do you know anything? He eats cats. Does he really? Yeah. Oh, you know why? It's yeah. because it, uh, they're aliens. So Alf is an alien. Alf is an alien. Who and that's why we also have Mork and Mindy, Mork my and favorite Mindy. Martian and Invader Zim. Yeah, clearly I all guess from tra- the, the Tracy Morgan show, Tracy Morgan. <laughs> Tracy Morgan show. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 hope and faith. Well, we knew they were aliens. Look at them. I mean, yeah, come on. Um, Y'all can't see it because this is audio. But Yeah, this is audio only. This is a, this Why would you want to see video of us? An audio wall. Video is for video is for only fans. Video is for uh video video is only for the people who are here. Also, I'm naked, and I don't, you don't want to see that. I mean, honestly, I have um like what's that movie? Bird Box. Burke Box. Burke Box. I'm hey just... everybody, welcome to the Burke Box movie. What the fuck was that? I don't know. It's okay. It's who I assume would call it Burke Box. No, the Bird Box. Burke Box. <laughs> so, uh. Pronounce this, it right. This impression is, uh, David doing a Russian immigrant <laughs> who, who went, who went to Target and is asking a salesperson at Target if they have Burke Box, not knowing that Bird Box is on Netflix. Hello, hello, 
I am here to purchase the Burke box. Do you have? Burke box? What is that? Is... Burke box! Burke box! I uh, got, uh, got Sandra Bullock's. San- Sandra Bullock? Sandra Bullock? Sandra Bullock? Sandra, Bu- Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Is it Bur- Burke? Burke box. Are you saying Bird Box? <laughs> Bird Box. It's a movie, right? Yes, uh, Sandra Bullock movie. That's on Netflix. That's, um... You have to stream that. That's on Netflix. Stream? Uh, I don't uh, understand. You know, um, like, do you have TV at home? Uh, yes, yes, TV. Like, TV. you know, TV, like, I Channel play, 5? I play Burke Box. You played it before? And mm, No. No? No. Well, do you have Netflix? Mm, do you know what Netflix uh, is? Uh, I don't understand. The internet. Do you know what the internet is? Um. Uh, wait. Uh, wait. I don't are you wearing parachute pants? Wait. Are you? Are you a time traveler? Oh my god! This man is a time traveler. Uh, That's what it is. Don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> this 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 natural apparel for my people. And who's your people? <laughs> the Burke Boxes. The peoples of Burke the Boxes. The people of Burke 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 oh my God. Southern Southern Europe Burke Burkistan. You know I just thought about it's like um Is that is that, like, is that bad? What guy? Burkistan? Burkistan. No. <laughs> Burkish. We speak Burkish. But there's people like who get so uh so like Star Wars fans, like you get so crazy into into the lore of something like pop culture, like Star Trek too, like Klingon, like people are dressing up like Klingons, they speak Klingon. Same mm-hmm. with Game of Thrones, Dothraki. They speak that language. So I wonder like I wonder if there's a group of people who are like, you know what? We should just go around not looking at anything. So we're just gonna wrap up our eyes. <laughs> <laughs> there was a whole bird box challenge. Do you remember that? Yeah, it's dumb. That was yeah, those, that was, that those was dumb. Ch- children challenges. Children were so the vine challenges. T- uh, yeah, TikTok. People were children are getting hurt. Um, I laughed. I'm okay, honestly, when do when do children not get hurt though? I thought we were gonna get negative. Just all the time. Ch- children get hurt all the time. All the they time. They do dumb shit. They jump all off the roofs. Time. Off of roofs, I said. Roofs. They, Dude, they fall out of trees. There's something about being a child, too, where, like, your bones are indestructible, I feel. I you feel so many times when I was a yeah. child. I never broke anything. Mm-mm. The first time I ever broke a bone, I was 23, and I broke my big toe from stubbing it too hard. <laughs> That's the most, like, I'm finished with life statement I've ever heard. And that's the only time I broke my bone. When I was a kid, I would I would fall off uh, trees. My sister, uh, I remember there was this like long antenna because my grandpa he's like a he's kind of like a hoarder. Mm-hmm. God bless him. But, like he has like a little junkyard in the backyard. So when we were kids, he had like this long antenna. My sister, I remember when we were kids, she got this fucking antenna in her hand, pulled the fucking thing back, and just let it whoop, like just right into my eye. Jeez. And I remember being a kid being like, oh my god, I lost my fucking sight. Like, it hurt so much. Right. I was fine, like, the next day. It's crazy. Maybe it's because the skin is new. You know, all your DNA, you know, everything is just new, and, like, you're just Wolverine. It's all those stem cells. Stem cells. There you go. What is that? No one knows. No one understands. They should really research it. (laughs) They should look into it. They should look into what stem cells are. Because no one fucking knows. No one understands. That, God, we can't get into politics. No politics. No, no politics. politics. No politics. Fuck Chase Bank. Um, fuck, fuck Chase Bank. And screw you, McDonald's. Let me go. Stop stringing the man along. Just just end the fucking relationship get already. Get rid of your damn two for three McDouble and McChicken. What because you, honestly. What do you think about the spicy nuggets? Are they... I'm, They're good. I'm really honestly done with this fucking food trend of like everything being popular for a minute. 
and like people getting in fights and getting stabbed over something and then it's dead the next month. You know what I mean? Okay, first of all, the Popeye spicy chicken, it's totally available. I think it's still just fucking great. It's so good. It's It's a good sandwich. That's a good sandwich. It's decent. It's crazy how much people went over it, but like it's a good sandwich. I feel like it also depends on like the time of day and the location. Like it has to be lightning in a bottle. If it's not lightning in a bottle, the sandwich is gonna be shit. That's what happened to me. I I ordered I went in, ordered six sandwiches, and they weren't good. And I was like, What the fuck? This is it? And my best friend, he was like, No, you gotta get like a fresh one. And I gave up on it. I was like, dude, it had his chance. People are getting stabbed for no reason. <laughs> went back like a month later pretty damn good well i mean that's just but that's the thing with like any food no food is gonna like you just need to eat it when it's good and hot you don't see me making a lasagna and coming back like three hours later and being like this is the best lasagna i've ever had it's like oh this lasagna is still good but it's not like well that that also depends like okay, maybe lasagna is a bad example well no not just that but it's like it also depends on how how good the food is the quality of the food if it's really great quality i think it'll be great Hot, warm, or cold. Are you telling me right now? Look at... Well, go ahead. Are you telling me right now that Popeye's doesn't use the freshest, the cleanest... The fucking thickest piece of chicken ass ever. The thickest piece of chicken butt. The thickest piece of chicken ass. Now for two ninety nine. <laughs> welcome to Welcome to Popeye's. Look, I know y'all been asking for it. We got it. Chicken ass. You come on in. We got that thickest piece of chicken ass and thigh you ever seen. All for three nine to nine and our new chicken ass combo. You know this reminds me of um <laughs> Idiocracy. Have you seen Idiocracy? I, I, I've seen Idiocracy. You seen it? We're living oh, yeah. it. We're living Idiocracy right oh, now. Dude, we've been living Idiocracy um, for a long time. Fud fuckers. Fud fuckers, yeah. Fud fuck. If okay, we're we're talking a lot about movies. This is our thing. If you guys haven't seen Idiocracy, it's directed by Mike Judge, the amazing Mike Judge. Uh, Beavis and Butthead, King of the Hill. Um, it's it's about a man who's in our military, and he gets frozen, right? And he gets thawed out in the future, and everyone in the future is just stupid. Mm -hmm. but the funny thing is we didn't need to get frozen it's just happening we're just living it like we're gonna get a little bit about politics just a little bit because we brought up idiocracy and this whole thing what's wrong with wearing a mask when you're going out i don't get it you're only wearing it for that amount of time you know i mean like people really getting upset getting bitchy and moany about going to the store, picking up some food, wearing a mask. I have to work wearing a mask for eight hours. There's nurses and doctors wearing it for, what, 12 and up. Yeah. Where their their face is going to be scarred now. And you're complaining about for a little bit? I just, what, what's, what, what kills me is when, when I was wearing the mask for eight hours, people were like, we were like, oh, I can't stand it for for 10 minutes. I'm like, I wear it for eight hours. And like, how do how do you, how'd you do it? And I was like, well, it's not hard. You just wear the mask. You just wear, you just become burn. And just like, and just like every other thing, us humans, we just get used to it. Yeah. It's very strange. I remember like the first week when we came back, when we were both working together, we came back wearing the masks and I hated it. I was like, God, it's so hot in here. And now it's just like, whatever, whatever. Exactly. It's just like whatever. I'm actually to this point of like I can wear the mask and I just like I'm like maybe the string hurts my ears and like that's it. Otherwise, I could probably wear the mask all day. I feel like um, I feel like I'm Spider Man. If you forget your mask, you're like, oh shit, my mask. I'm Spider Man. I'm Spider Man. That's all it takes, really. It's true. And it, like, and you know what's weird is that I started wearing my mask and I did develop the ability to climb on walls while I wore my mask while coming webs. I do well. I've always come with webs. Oh, yeah. So I think that's I think that's it for us. Um, thank you for everyone for listening. Yeah, thank you. If anyone is listening, yeah, about me and my uh, Spider-Man cummies. <laughs> if anyone's made it this far. Thank you very much. We don't we don't know what's going to come from this, but we really enjoy just messing around and having fun. 
Yeah. Yeah. So we appreciate you listening, uh, taking a shot. Hopefully um, we can produce more and it gets better and um, you don't have to hear more about my come. Just uh, make sure you tell everyone that you love that you love them. You never know when something's going to end. And just peace on you got, earth. You got very wholesome with this ending. You got well, really It's supposed to be wholesome. It's supposed to be wholesome. Right now, we're living in a very crazy time. As and I, we're it's very, true. we're very, very blessed that you and I could sit down and just enjoy a Sunday where we're not working, and just shoot the shit about the dumbest fucking things. Maybe That's someone's true. gonna listen to it. Maybe not. We'll just do it for ourselves. But really, for the bit. we have to count strictly for the bit. But really, we have to count our blessings. I'm saying, hey. I hope whoever's listening to this, I hope you have a fantastic week, a fantastic life. I hope 2020 hasn't been too hard on you like it has been for a lot of people. We're here for you. We love you. That's the positivity. That's how it should be. That's how life should be. More positivity, less stress. You piece of shit. (laughs) Goodbye.